Right, we're uh, back again at uh, Data Analytics Ireland. Welcome back. I hope everybody's keeping well in the midst of the pandemic, which is the COVID-19. Um, so I want to revisit something, but include a bit more additional functionality. So in a previous post, which I put a link to it in the blog posting, you should see that we originally brought in some data and we data cleansed it. But in that blog posting, essentially, we just created our data set on the screen. We didn't um, import it from anywhere. So here's a scenario for you. You have a CSV file and you have a set of data in it. And what you want to do with the set of data is bring it in, loop through it, go through it and see, well, actually, what's causing me issues here? and I want to fix them and output the fixes. So essentially that's what this video is going to do. So to start off, um, what we're going to do is take a, bring in our lists, but we're actually going to, there's going to be, again, it's going to be a list of numbers with uh, errors in it. So it should only be numbers included, but we actually have some additional error values in it. So in the examples I'm about to show you, the error values are all these. Now like the previous example you can actually uh, add to this list take away and change it as you see fit but this is the list we're going to test against okay so there are three scenarios in this today i want to go through with you um there's a reason i want to go through with you, with you is because the first two are very similar they use the open statements open statement should i say but they actually um use it, how you open is slightly different, but it's, in all essence, it gives you the same end result. And the third one, uh, scenario three, is basically where you're just going to load the, the file um, into a data frame through the, through using the read CSV. But we'll come to that in a second, but there is logic in going through it these ways first before we get to the scenario three. So, First thing I found with the open statement, it's it's very handy, um, but there are quirks with it. When it's reading, certainly when it's reading in a CSV file, it has a number of issues around the formatting of the file when it's read in. Um, so for me to get this in the format down here, like this, I basically had to add in this bit at the end. And what that's basically doing is once it splits out the values reading in, it still needs to remove the, the forward slash n, which would have appeared otherwise in the file on the screen and the output. So what I've done basically here is open the file and then split it out, removing this. I basically then, in order to get it into format to actually make it a bit readable, we can slice it and dice it. We need to basically tell, create a data frame and tell it to equal my file. So that's what this line's down here. Okay. Then we basically are creating a column called temp. Okay. And that's what this column is here. And we're basically saying that the column temp, our two new columns are equal to the number and error are equal to the column temp and basically um, we're splitting it out based and this is so this is the delimiter here and so essentially when you read in the csv it's on one line it reads every line item as one piece of text with a delimiter of the uh, comma here but so what this piece of code here is doing is taking the line splitting it out basically telling the code that where it is where this is is the start oh, the end of the old the first piece of data and the start of a new piece of data, and then it's putting the it's creating a column called number and error. Okay, and then what it's doing is it's basically taking this temp column that we created here, and it's basically dropping it. We have no more use for it. And then basically what also happens in this is it basically creates uh, it basically we need to, the, the the headings that come in with the file basically come in in the first row so we tell it to drop that first row so here as an example if we do this right let's just rerun this okay 
so there's all our logic no errors thankfully but as you can see the first row here comes in with number and error so the purpose of this logic up here um, wherever it is here which you've commented out is to just basically drop it and get rid of it okay so if I do this again so sorry before I rerun the code it's basically that's the index of zero that's why we're saying dropping zero okay and if we re run this again taking this out so what's going to happen next is basically um, it's going to reset the index so at the moment if we rerun if we drop this and we didn't reset the index the index will start at one now we could leave it at start at one if you wanted so there's absolutely no problems there but um, I basically like to start everything at zero just for good practice but it's entirely up to yourself so what I'm going to do is rerun this code so we've basically reset the index so when we run this okay now it basically um, basically has reset the index to zero and it's, the actual column sorry the headers that were in the CSV file are, are gone okay so one thing to note that in the actual file it's read in eight lines but you know there's only there is eight lines here but the actual last one is blank so that will disappear in a second now so what's going to happen now is we're basically going to run so in our previous uh, previous uh, posting on a video posting should i say we had um we had a number uh, we had a we had a function which ra basically ran through ran through the columns and spit out the errors and then spit out the fixes and that's the exact same logic here okay so this is going to run again in that logic um the previous time i don't think there was any um i don't think there was any um uh, blanks but in this logic when it runs so just to show you there's a blank here so when our logic runs and gives us the final output we're looking for it will ignore this and won't include it in the output because this drop na statement here where is it going to uh let's drop any NA, na statement here we'll basically look at that column and say oh just let's drop that um because there's, there's no problem there's no issue there and we just make sure that the data frame is updated to make sure it's not included so this logic basically i think i've gone through it before in a previous but if you haven't seen it is basically looking for every value in the list l here each one of these it's going to loop through them and then it's going to say if it finds i zero which is this value it's going to replace it with a blank if it finds i one which is the multiplication here it's going to replace it with a blank i2 i3 i4 all the way up to i6 so on so forth so it's going to go through each one and where it finds them in the list it's basically going to replace them with blank then it's basically going to just print it's just a print statement and display it so just to recap we basically in this first scenario we have basically brought in the csv file we have basically gotten rid of this first line which had the header in it we reset the index but we had this one blank here um, which there's nothing to do on it so we don't include it in the output so the final output for this scenario one is basically here it is we this, these are the errors it's found it's basically fixed all these without the errors and you only have six lines so this one here which was a blank is gone and that's because of this drop in a statement here in the function okay so that's the first scenario where you have a variable called my file and using an op statement and you're you're basically that in the my file which your variable equal to whatever the open statement returns okay so scenario two basically is ex pretty much exactly the same the only difference is it uses a with open okay now the one thing just to remember which you need to be very careful about here is with the open statement the actual file is not closed so in that scenario it will still be in memory and be using resources on your computer so it's one thing to be very conscious of if you ever do go down this road and use this that you need to close the file 
it doesn't automatically do it and you need to actually put the, the close statement in there okay so in scenario two which it does do so the first thing was we we're going to use this open like we had above okay so exactly the same here one thing a difference here is by using the with open statement we actual fact when the file comes in we don't have the problems here of having to do this read split here to get rid of the forward slash n within the actual output so that's the first thing and this is a loop as well so what this will do is loop to each line uh, which is very handy um, so that's um, that's sorry so that's gonna with open it's basically gonna say with and then open this and open it as f okay so f is going to read all base each line as f so first thing we've done here is create an empty list and then basically said for each line in f okay which is this here which is read in when you open this uh, basically add in add in the values you find to this empty list okay so basically what's happening here is in this loop it loops to each one each one and then in the empty list is appended 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 and in the end the end you have all the values that appear in the list okay so the next thing then is we're just going to say okay we want this empty list to be put into a data frame okay very straightforward and we're going to run down pretty much it's pretty much the same um scenario as was up above regards the steps okay these steps here okay um so just going to run down to it and we look we, we drop again we're dropping the header we are resetting the index as we did in the first scenario and one thing which is different here is basically we are basically in the error field we have to do a string replace because this just comes in as the value zero four slash n and we place with zero the final thing is um, we're just going to print it so scenario two again uh, basically gives you the same file, same out input as regards what comes in from the CSV. You know, slightly different formatting uh, regards how you get the output and how it looks on the screen. But the end result, which is what we want, we're co conscious of our, what we want to achieve, is exactly the same. So as you'll see there, they're exactly the same. Okay. So that's the that's the two scenarios with with open. Um, uh, open sorry my file leaving open even to a my file and a very my file equal to open or using a with statement okay in scenario two differences again just to recap is it doesn't close here which is draining resources on your computer or whatever if you're using a server uh, and it's taking resources uh, processing resources whereas here when this is finished it actually by default in the background closes the file okay so that's the scenario one and scenario two now as you can see before we move on to the third one it's quite a bit of work there just to get this to where we want it to be it's a bit clunky bit code a bit 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 of logic having to put in just to actually get get it working as we'd like so scenario three now and this is the one I'd probably advise personally anyway I myself have been advising just to go with but look you I suppose you just got to work with what works for you but scenario three an actual fact now only has three lines of code so this three lines of code does everything basically from here all the way down to there for a scenario two and everything from basically here all the way down there for scenario one so it's a much more efficient and quicker and easier way to actually do what you need to do open the file bring it in and put it into a data frame so with these three lines of code here we've achieved this whereas it took us multiple lines to sorry to achieve this for scenario two and multiple lines achieve this for scenario one so again we've basically um basically we've brought in the file it's formatted in the way we'd like it from the from the get-go and then we've like the other two scenarios we've just run we've run this function um which is exactly it's pretty much this it's exactly the same as what you have up here in scenario two and scenario one 
So there you go. That's how you would basically, to recap, import a CSV file. Three, three different ways to import it. It would run through a function to pick out the errors, show you what the errors are. Basically then part of that function, fix those errors and give you the output. So that's, that's a very, very quick tutorial on actually how to do all this, um, how to bring in the files, a CSV import it, basically check for um, errors and then put the fixes to those errors as well output on the screen. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you get some benefit out of it. If you could like us on a YouTube channel, obviously, or certainly we're on Twitter and Facebook as well. Go and follow us there. All these videos are now on posted through Facebook and Twitter and obviously be on YouTube. Really appreciate it. We'll be posting more videos soon. Um, on the posting, the web uh, blog posting for this, they're certainly happy to take comments and go through anything with anybody if they have any questions. And if you want anybody wants any further follow up, certainly as well, pop a question there and happy to engage. So we'll see you soon. Um, thanks again for visiting Data Analytics Ireland. Take care. Bye.